which takes its name and logo from the city of Perugia, began in 1907 when the owner of Perugia's pasta factory, Francesco Buitoni, together with husband and wife, Anibale and Luisa Spagnoli, opened a small confectionery business in the heart of the old city to produce confetti, sugar-coated almonds. As business expanded, they also began to produce sweets and chocolate, and a few years later, their first factory opened at Fontevecchio, an area outside the centre of the town, near the railway station. From that moment on, Perugina began its rapid rise to success, and it soon became one of the most well-known names in the business. In 1963, the factory was moved to San Sisto. Strengthened by major investment, today it is the main factory of Nestle Italy's confectionery division. The factory produces a wide range of products, chocolates, cocoa, sweets, biscuits and cakes. Cocoa is the fundamental ingredient in the production of chocolate. Native to Central America, cocoa was known to the Maya and the Aztecs, who used it to prepare a drink noted for its energy-giving properties. It was the conquistador Hernán Cortés who brought it to Spain and from there it began to spread across Europe. Nestlé uses the finest quality cocos from the Ivory Coast, Ghana, Nigeria and Ecuador and these are mixed together to obtain the best aromatic notes. After undergoing careful laboratory tests, the cocoa beans are prepared. All of the processes are automatic and are managed by electronic control systems. Trained personnel check all stages of the manufacturing process intervening when necessary. Work begins with the cleaning of the cocoa beans to remove any foreign material. The beans are then quickly heated, causing them to swell and making it easier for the external husk to be removed later. The cocoa beans are then broken into pieces. The outer shells are separated by suction, while the cocoa itself passes to the roasting phase, which is fundamental for the development of the cocoa aroma and for the taste of the finished chocolate. The last phase of the process is grinding, which reduces the cocoa to very fine particles. The friction caused by the grinding raises the temperature of the cocoa and causes the precious oil contained in the seeds to melt and form cocoa butter. The resulting liquid is called cocoa paste which is the semi-processed basic ingredient used to make chocolate and to produce cocoa powder. Cocoa powder is made by extracting some of the cocoa butter from the paste by means of hydraulic presses. The cocoa solids are trapped by filters and fine meshes to form cakes that are then crushed and ground into a fine powder. Once it has cooled, the powder is sent to be packaged. The cocoa butter extracted by the presses is used to make chocolate. The production of chocolate involves three phases, mixing, refining and conching. In the first phase, the required quantities of the ingredients are automatically weighed and mixed together. The different recipes for the four basic types of chocolate are memorized on a computer. These are plain, milk and white chocolate and janduya 
which is made from a mixture of cocoa and hazelnut paste. In the second phase, called refining, sugar and cocoa are ground together to obtain fine particles no bigger than several thousand parts of a millimetre across. This is necessary in order to produce chocolate that is velvety smooth. A series of moving belts carry the refined chocolate to the final stage, conching. The powder is loaded into the conch machines, each holding six tons, and here it is subjected to the intense action of the machine. Friction heats the ingredients, causing some acidic and bitter substances in the cocoa to evaporate. The flavour of the chocolate develops and at the same time it acquires a creamier and more liquid texture. During this operation, which takes from 10 to 24 hours, the final ingredients of the recipe are added. Cocoa butter, a small quantity of soy lecithin and vanilla. <coughs> Every day 120 tons of chocolate flow along heated pipes to the storage tanks. At every stage of production, right up to the final product, tests are carried out to check that everything meets the required chemical and microbiological standards. Batchy chocolates are known all over the world and have been the factory's top product since 1922. The manufacturing process starts with the preparation of the filling, made of janduya chocolate and chopped roasted hazelnuts. These are worked into a paste that is then extruded into cylindrical portions, and a whole hazelnut is then placed on top. The inner part of the batchi is now ready to be enrolled in a cascade of dark chocolate called Louisa. which the chocolates enter the cooling tunnel. Every day, more than one and a half million batchi are wrapped in their distinctive silver wrapping covered in blue stars, inside of which is the famous poetic love note. Another technology used in the production of chocolate is moulding. The moulds used are each imprinted with the shape of the final product. Chocolate bars and filled and unfilled chocolates in a wide variety of flavours are made in this way. Traditional Easter eggs are also made by moulding. In this process, the moulds are rotated several times so that the chocolate is evenly distributed over the surface. After a surprise gift has been inserted, the two halves are brought together for cooling and sealing. And finally, the eggs are wrapped. Another sector of the factory is used for the production of sweets, which are also part of the Perugina tradition. The best known of these is undoubtedly Rosanna, a sweet made with milk and containing a creamy rum-flavoured filling. The ingredients for the outside, sugar, glucose, concentrated milk and water, are measured out according to the recipe memorised on the computer and then mixed together. Next, the resulting syrup is cooked at high temperature in a vacuum to remove most of the water. The sweet mixture obtained is then flavoured and spread on a metal belt to cook. This sugary strip that has by now acquired a thicker consistency goes next to the rolling machine, where it is wound round a cylinder into which the cream film is injected. The pressure of the rollers produces a long cord-like shape which already has the filling inside. A high-speed cutter cuts this into individual sweets. 
3,000 suites per minute are arranged on the metal net that takes them to the cooling tower. Finally, modern wrapping machines enclose the suites in their classic wrapper with its characteristic twist at either end. The factory at San Sisto also uses baking technology to produce Orelieti biscuits. The basic ingredients are flour, eggs, vegetable fat and yeast powder and these are measured out and mixed in an automatic mixer. Various machines are used to give each biscuit the desired shape. The biscuits are made in moulds, extruded or shaped in a rotary machine before being transported along a metal belt and into the oven. They are then allowed to cook and some are decorated with chocolate. All of the factory's products pass through the distribution centre at San Sisto, which has a mechanised storeroom that can hold 22,000 pallets and has been built using state-of-the-art technology. Nestlé has embraced the extraordinary tradition of Perugino and has opened the way for the brand to develop in new ways. And so Perugino's successful heritage is being consolidated in the name of innovation as its products continue to meet with the ever-growing strong approval of consumers. <laughs>